Okay, so most people don't realize that Usborne actually has a lot of books for older kids and a lot of really cool chapter book series. So I'm going to show you just some of what we have, but we have a lot more than this. Um, first of all, there is Billy Bee Mysteries. So I talked about Billy Bee and Hey Jack in the elementary age video. This is just a step up from that. It's the same characters, a few more chapters, a little more words, just a little bit more difficult. Um, a new series we have is the Ella Diaries, um, probably um, about the same reading level as um, Billy B. Mysteries are a little harder. I'd say like a seven, year old, seven, eight year old would love this. Um, it's kind of like um, the Dork Diaries or something similar. Ella's just writing in her diary about her school and her friends and it's really cute. I read this book really quickly. Another new series that we have is the Secret Mermaid series. It's about a girl who goes to stay with her grandma and who gives her an enchanted shell that turns her into a mermaid and she goes on all kinds of under the sea adventures. Um, I'll show you the inside so you can see the reading difficulty, but I'd say again maybe an eight year old would like these books. A little more difficult than that is the EJ12 series. This is um, kind of reminds me of um, Kim Possible, if you ever watched that show. It's about a girl who lives her normal life but is a secret agent also and kind of saves the day but then has to deal with her everyday life things. She has a photographic memory and she solves puzzles that way and some of the books have puzzles in them that you can help solve and there are about eight books in this series so it's really fun for girls, I'd say nine, ten years old. Um, we have this book called Will Nuts. Um, it's a series, if your kids like graphic novels or anything like that, this is a fun series for them to read because it has lots of pictures, less words. It's fun and silly about these cars who race each other and they talk. And so um, that's a great one to check out if you've got um, someone who likes those kind of books. Penny Dreadful um, kind of reminds me of Junie B. Jones. Yeah, these books actually have four stories in one, so it's not really a chapter book, but kind of the same thing. Um, she, again, is just kind of funny and silly. Uh, I'm just, I would compare her to Junie B. Jones. She, this is um, Penny Dreadful as a Magnet for a Disaster. Oh, there's three stories. And so it's really funny to read. A brand new series we have is the Gateway series. This is about a girl who, um, whose parents decide to reopen a creepy old hotel old hotel and they discover that the place is much more than it seems and there are visitors from other planets. So um, show you the reading level here. Great for boys and girls I would say. So that's a fun new series that we just got. One that I like is um, The Mythical Ninth Division. This kind of reminds me of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles maybe just because these are some creatures who um, are like these abominable snowman type guys and they're um, out to save the day but they're laughing and making jokes along the way. So they're fun but they're adventurous and there's lots of action and humor and um, if, you, if you're, again, if you have someone who likes graphic novels, there's a few pictures like that in there. And so this is a fun series to read. Next we have our Extreme Adventure series. These are very adventurous. Um, there's Grizzly Trap, Crocodile Attack, um, bushfire rescue. There's all kinds about this kid who goes on all these adventures and gets himself into all these different pickles. Um, and it's just a, a really fun read for boys or girls. We have our True Story series. I love these books. I've read a few of them. I've read this Everest one, True Stories about Mount Everest climbers. Um, again, it's nonfiction, so if you've got a, a reluctant reader who is interested in a certain subject, we've got true stories on crime scene investigation and survival stories and polar adventures and lots of different subjects so they might find one of these that they like. Um, a fairly new series we have that came out in January is the Impossible Quest series. There's five books in this series. Um, it's kind of Harry Potter-ish. It's fantasy. It has boy and girl main characters. Um, there's magic and um, just fun adventures like that. Um, very fun read for anyone who loves fantasy, Percy Jackson, Harry Potter, anything like that. We also have another series called The Sword of Kuramori um, that's kind of similar to. And then this is a brand new one, just came out in July, Star of T Del Tora. It's about a girl who, um, her family, let's see, Britta has always wanted to be a trader like her father, sailing the nine seas and bringing precious cargo home to Del 
harbor, her dreams seemed safe until her father's quest to find the fabled Staff of Tear ended in blood and horror. Now his shamed family is in hiding, and his ship, the Star of Del Toro, belongs to the powerful Rosalind fleet. And so she has these ambitions to try and get her family's fortune back. And um, really great read for teenage girls. I'd say 13, 14 year olds would love this. Another book for teenage girls is this new series, um, The Clockwork Sparrow. Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. I am going to read this book. I haven't yet, but it looks so good. Um, it's just a fun mystery about a girl in um, London, and there she's just got um, these friends that she's trying to solve this mystery with. And it's a pretty thick book, um, but it looks super fun. There's two in the series so far. Um, a great one that we have for boys and girls is The Debt. Um, this is about a guy or a kid who inherits an ancient family debt and he has so much time to go and um, find all the things he needs to pay it off. And um, a good, another good read for high schoolers, middle schoolers, um, very intense and lots of action and all that. Conspiracy 365 is one of our most popular series. It's great for boys and girls, reluctant readers. My 12 year old nephew has read these and the spin-off series called Black Ops and he could not put them down. He told me all about them. He said it's so intense and so action but it's clean and fun. Um, and each book is a month of the year. This So the first one is January and then it goes through every month and then there's also the spin-off series Black Ops. Again, um, so he's 12 and he read it but high schoolers would love it too. Um, and then next is the Phoenix Files series. I have read a few of these and it's a really good series too. I want to finish it. It's um, about all these kids who become friends who all move to the same town. Their parents got transferred there for their jobs. But they kind of start to realize that something fishy is going on in this town. It's kind of weird. There's weird things going on and they eventually just discover kind of this um, cover up that's going on about some um, this attack that's going to happen and they kind of have to go and save the day. So. It's, it's a really good, if you like, um, kind of dystopian type of, type of books. If you've got someone who likes Hunger Games or things like that, I'd compare it to that. And then The Last 13 is a series. Um, this is actually the last book in the series, so I should have grabbed the one that says 13 because that's the first book. Um, it's about a bunch of kids who are dreamers. They have these dreams, and each book reveals another dreamer, and they um, have to discover... Um, how to connect their dreams and to kind of solve this mystery that's going on and um, and so again great for I'd say 12 and up um, great fun read for chapter books so those are some of our really great chapter books again we have a lot more um, and so if you need more recommendations just let me know and I can help you thanks